So some hints and tips. for doing electrical questions on Isaac Physics. The first thing I want to say is that Isaac Physics has a particular way of doing let's say, the charge on the electron. You don't need to know this number, but you're going to need to use it in these questions. 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. That's how you would write it normally. On Isaac physics, it needs to be 1.6 times 10 upside down V symbol which you'll find uh, using shift 6 on your keyboard minus 19. That's how you write exponentials on Isaac physics. So there's the first thing. Now, uh, the second thing Isaac Physics is very fussy about significant figures. So if, for example, you had uh, a current of 6.0 amps and you had a time of, let's say, uh, 32.5 seconds, and you wanted to know the charge that flowed in that time, you should know Q equals I times T, or charge is current times time. And the current has to be in amps, and the time has to be in seconds, in order to get the charge in coulombs. Well, you would say that 6 times 32.5 and you would say well 6 times 32.5 that's 180 192 195 I reckon 195 but the problem is that's the two significant figures and that's the three you can only, can only give the answer to two so you'd have to say, well, that's going to be rounding up from the 5, and that's going to be 200 coulombs. So, that's the second thing. And in fact, the third thing, because I've done three things. So, let's now consider... We've looked at Q equals I times T and I said that T has to be in seconds and I needs to be in amps, not kiloamps or megaamps or anything else, amps. If we consider then electrical power, well, power we know you need to know is voltage or potential difference. I prefer potential difference, but I'll call it voltage because the symbol is V. Power equals V times I. But we also know Ohm's law that V equals I times R. So you could write this P as I times R for this V times I, which gives us I squared R. We could also rewrite this if we didn't want to get rid of the V, but we did want to get rid of the I. That I from V equals I times R, I is V 
divided by r. So I could take this then and put it in here and I would have power is v times v divided by r which gives me v squared divided by r. So I've got three expressions for power. I've got power is v times i, that's the one you need to know. You could also make it i squared times r. You could also make it v squared over r. Now, this one you don't need to know most of the time, but you will need to use it for the Isaac physics questions. This one is very useful because it tells you the energy lost in a cable. The cable, overhead cable, national grid, has a resistance and there is a current flowing through it. You can see if I double the current here, I'm going to have four times the power lost. I'll just show you what I mean. If P is I squared R, and then I becomes twice as big, then that becomes 2i squared times r. 2 squared is 4, i squared times r. So this is now 4 times bigger than it was before. So there are my hints and tips for doing electricity questions. I've only talked about Q equals IT, the charge equation and the power equation. Of course, power is measured in watts, charge is measured in coulombs, which is in a capital C, current in amps, time in seconds, resistance in ohms, which is spelled O-H-M-S. And that, of course, is in volts, symbol V. So the quantity, potential difference, symbol is V. The unit, volts, the symbol is also V. Not very helpful, but that's the way it is. So there are my hints and tips for you. Enjoy the Isaac Physics questions.